Hey everybody, welcome to 4D Farms. I am Tracy, I'm the keeper of the home here at 4D Farms. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for stopping by, checking out this video. I hope you caught the first one. I'll link it in the description box below. And if you're one of my subscribers, thank you for coming back. This is part two of our holiday, no stress, no stress holiday series, okay? This is part two, and you remember me telling you in the last of the first video <laughs> what to do when you're traveling with children? <laughs> because, like, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? I gotta pee. I'm hungry. Okay. We've all been there. We all know. Okay. We've got a, about a four, five, three, two, one hour trip to go. I don't want to be stressed out by the time I get there. So here you go. I'm going to give you some tips. I have traveled with enough kids. I know what to do. This ain't my first rodeo. This is my second time around. So I'm going to give you all some tips and tricks. First, all of these tips and tricks can go for riding in a vehicle, driving, any vehicle, airplane, bus, Horse and buggy, I don't care, okay? Look, Amish, they have horse and buggies, okay? Don't knock it. Uh, what else? Um, as I can't give a lot of traveling tips by plane because I have flew on a plane with my children twice. And that was years ago. That was almost 20 years ago. And I honestly don't know all the rules that have changed now what is allowed on the plane in your carry-on and what is not. So I'm going to kind of give you some ideas that will work for a little activity backpack carry-on for the children. Okay, whatever. All right, now I'm just going to get started. So, because I'm going to just try to move through this quickly, okay, and just give you these tips and tricks because I'm cutting it close to the holidays. I know I'm, I'm right there at Thanksgiving, okay, but we still got Christmas holidays to go, so y'all will be prepared, okay? First things first, um, you better plan ahead, okay? Plan for, for un, unnecessary stops or unexpected stops plan for that, okay? Uh, diaper bag. If you've got babies, stock that diaper bag before you leave that house, okay? Diapers, wipes, formula, burp cloths, baby food, snacks, medicines, little small toys if they're able to play, something to keep them entertained. I know like on the little carrier car seats with the little bar going across, you can dangle toys from it, okay? Uh, in my truck for older kids, if they're front facing, I've got a DVD player in my truck. Okay. We can watch movies. Um, then if they're rear facing, I actually had a little contraption. Uh, y'all go back and catch my car organization video. Okay. I put some tips and tricks in there of traveling with kids and some other things I have in my truck that I don't have in here right now that didn't make it in that video uh, because they grew up a little in between these two videos. So in that, in my car organization hack video uh, and Gmall hacks, um, watch that one. It's not just how I organize and keep my truck clean. It's things that I keep in my truck for me for traveling purposes. It's things I keep in my truck for children, traveling purposes, and I keep in my truck all the time, okay? Diaper bag hacks. Go back. It's all in there. Go back and check that one out, and then come in and check this one out, or go and check that one out when you get done checking this one out. I don't know, y'all, however you want to do it. Okay, let's get started. Now, like I said, all of this right here will work in just about every scenario. Train. There you go. There's another one. If you're going by train, a lot of people go by subways, okay? Um, yeah, vehicle, plane. Uh, if you're on a boat, if you go on a cruise during the holidays, there you go. Okay, trolley. If you're in England, uh, trolleys, okay? Th those, t whatever y'all. Tell me in the comments what those double stacker buses are. I need to know those. Trolleys or what? No, those are in San Francisco. What are they called, y'all? Anyway, let's get started. Okay, I'm going to just turn y'all around here. Okay, 
first of all, I made these little backpacks for my granddaughters, okay? They're made with Pioneer Woman placemats, and I individualized each one of them so they can tell whose backpack is whose. I will try to link the video to this if you want to make these little backpacks. I will try to link the video down below, but I put the straps on them myself. I figured out a way to do it, and I put them some little straps on it to make it look like a backpack, okay? Has pockets in the front, and then drawstring. It's very roomy because I'm going to show you what all it fits in there, okay? There's no lining. That is just the placemat. It may be two placemats. Um, I'll link this in the description box below. They each have a blanket in case they get chilly in my truck and a neck pillow, which is in my truck already. This is just stuff I need to get out to my truck for when we do travel for the holidays, Christmas coming up, okay? When you get to your destination, or you can use these as tabletop toys. You saw in my car hack video, I have trays for them in my truck. They can spread these out on their little trays, their finger toys, easily travelable. You see, one for each one. They can swap. I've got, they're just sandwich boxes, y'all, from the Dollar Tree. Each one of them has their name on them, okay? Little easy travel toys. When you get to your hotel room or your destination or your relative's house, if they don't have toys and you need something to pacify them or occupy them, drag out some little toys, y'all. Take them in the house with you. They'll have something quiet to play with, all right? Mini baby dolls, little bitty baby dolls, some kind of little smallish toy. Now, I don't put these inside the backpacks. I put these in another thing over here, and I'll show you. They have neck pillows, blankets for when they get chilly. Now, these are some things I have in the backpack, okay? I have poppets. They can play with these. I have some puzzle pieces here they can try to put together. I have a little magna doodle. I have all kinds of fidgets in here they can play with. Finger toys just keeps them busy. All kinds of fidgets. And that's just wonderful when they want to get a hold of these and you're going through traffic. <laughs> okay. I have reading books. I have activity books, sticker books. You give a kid some paper and a sticker book and they'll go to town with it, y'all. And that'll occupy them for hours. Well, maybe minutes. This is just one of those little dollar pencil pouches from the Dollar Tree. I've got notepads. I've got little fancy little pens. I have crayons, markers, crayon pencils, washable markers. I have just a little thing here just for them to mash buttons and play with. Um, let's see, over here, the little one has the same thing. Now, I have these little trays also, if they don't want to play with the other ones. I have these little trays. And y'all, these right here, actually, yes, we have Play-Doh. They have sit and played with Play-Doh on these two trays right here. Y'all, I got these from the Dollar Tree. Every one of these supplies, except for the fidgets, came from the Dollar Tree. I have tabletop toys that they can get out and play with on top of their tables. Okay, all these little tabletop toys. Little sisters got the same thing big sisters got, just a different color so they can tell them apart. She has fidgets for her age. And she has these little trinkets you can put together. These are like little, little Lincoln things. Oh, you know how those go. Those little Lincoln things that they can just build things and put together. Y'all, they put these on their table and they go to town with them too. These are, and that's just a little case I got from the Dollar Tree. They came as a two-pack, y'all, for a dollar. It's got snap and lock lids, which is awesome. They don't spill out in their backpacks. She's got activity books, sticker books, reading books. She has decorative pens and pencils, too. Notepads where they can just doodle, colors, pencils. And I actually have them like a little practice sewing, needle and thread. They're loving to start learning how to do that. That keeps them busy. Uh, let's see. Let's work our way around. This is extra markers, pencils, pens, paper, crayons, stuff like that if we lose any. Um, these. Oh, my gosh, y'all. These. Let me see if I can open one of these up somewhere. Uh, where can I lay this out at? 
I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just showing you the cover. Let me show y'all what this does. And I actually have one for myself, y'all. I went online and I made an activity binder. I am proud of this. Our oldest one loves this. I printed out some road trip activities. See those? Road trip bingo. Road trip a scavenger hunt. Scavenger hunt. Stop, I spy. Their, your vehicle signs. Our oldest granddaughter will always look at the back of vehicles. And y'all, she knows every one of these logos. Okay, so don't think she can't tell you what you're driving or what somebody else is driving. Then they can look for their signs. Then I put some extra pages in here, just construction paper, where they can draw on their own. And the good thing about it is, y'all, it is in sheet protectors. And I have wipeable erase markers and an eraser in this little pencil pouch. They mark on it, they can erase it a hundred times over. This has been a lifesaver, especially for our oldest granddaughter. She loves it. Now, our youngest one, she just loves scribbling on the pages and, and marking them off. But our oldest one will actually do this, and she loves these pages. She will look for all these things, okay? She's beginning to know what to look for. And the youngest one, like I said, she just loves to scribble in this book. So each one of them knows what color is theirs, okay? So this is an activity binder. You can print these off. Uh, I got to get up out of the floor. It's easy to get down there, but getting back up is the pits, okay? So you can go online and print out road trip activities. I found them on Pinterest, okay? And I printed them off, put them in sheet protectors, got some erase, dry erase markers and an eraser. They love it, okay? That keeps them busy. Stickers and paper keeps them busy. Markers and pencils keeps them busy, okay? When they get tired of that, give them some little toys on their tray. Play-Doh, okay? And they know that when they get done playing with something, put it back where it goes and then put it back in your backpack. Uh, what else? Okay, let's turn, oh, let's turn you around again. Right here, we just got them some tablets of their own and little headphones, and I made these little cases just out of placemats, okay? They know what color's theirs. I just made these out of placemats and put handles on them. There's no internet on these tablets because they're children's tablets. There's no internet on them. Um, I don't want that. I don't want internet on them. I, um, the only time I put internet on them is when I cut it on just for a little bit and I will download games and they're all educational games. Okay. They have like games that's got letters, numbers, counting, colors, shapes, all kinds of games. And then I got them a little few little fun games, like where they take care of little baby animals, um, little nail salon on puppies, hair salon, stuff like that that does not require internet. They're all offline games. You just have to use the internet to put them on the tablet, cut your internet off, then they can play the games offline. Now, there still is like things that if they want to earn a token or earn something on the game, to watch an ad or something, but I'll tell them, no, let's just get the free ones, and I'll show them which ones they can get, okay? There's no YouTube kids on there. There's no YouTube. There's no internet. There's no social media. Uh -uh. It's strictly for educational purposes only. I have some apps on there that are Bible stories, Bible songs, and they have learned so many Bible songs, y'all, and um, Bible stories. So it's all educational. And even if I let them play with the, they stay in the house all the time. But now when we go on road trips, if it's a long road trip, I may grab them. But if we're just going an hour away to see family, we can watch movies in my DVD player. Um, in my truck, on my visor, I've got movies uh, in there just for them to pop in the DVD player. Okay? Um, I don't worry about having headphones on in the truck. I just listen to it too. I have to bear it, okay? It's fine. As long as you keep them kids happy, it's fine. Okay, let's see. When they play with these here at the house, there's two times I'll give them tablet time. 
I don't let these kids sit on these electronics all the time to babysit them. We only do it for educational purposes. And there's two times I'll give them quiet tablet time and they play their games or listen to Bible stories, okay? One <laughs> is in the morning time when g -Mom needs to have her coffee to get started with the day and wake up, okay? So we have quiet tablet time. They've been in a chaotic morning trying to get going. Everybody's rushing around trying to get ready to get out the door. And then I just try to calm them down a little bit when they get here and peace, okay? Give them that quiet calmness time. Time to wake up, reflect. Let me wake up and reflect, okay? Then in the afternoon, I give them another little bit of tablet time. And that is when I need to have, after nap time, we're all trying to wake up and I need to have my second cup of coffee <laughs> to make it through the other half of my day. Round two, okay? That's two times I let them play on their tablets just for some waking up time and just tablet time, I call it, okay? So there's their tablets, nothing but educational games on it, no internet, no social media, eh, okay? So let's see, I covered all that. I will try to link that. Those are Amazon Fire... 8 HD for kids. We got them off of Amazon. Um, their little headphones came from Amazon. A lot of the other things are in my truck. Okay, you're going to need like snacks. Have you something that doesn't spill? Sippy cups. Have those little, cu those little cups that they stick their hand down in there and they can get out stuff without everything spilling out. I'll, I'll take you over there in a second, and I'll show you some. Uh, let's see. All right, now they love to do this, too. They love to have their own sunglasses, so I have them in a protective case so they don't get broke. They love to be like g -Mall. They love to... I got all this stuff at Dollar Tree, y'all. They love to brush their hair, look at themselves in the mirror. Hi, YouTube! Look at themselves in the mirror. I got all this stuff at the Dollar Tree, y'all, for a dollar. And then they love, I make them do hand sanitizer. If we get out to potty anywhere, I make them get out their hand sanitizer and put it on their hands. Now, you don't want to do this if you've got one that's too small and they're still putting their hands in their mouth, okay? You're the parent. You need to monitor. And they love being like GMO and putting on lip gloss. So I have them just their own little lip gloss that is hardly no color at all, but they just love being like me, and they want that lip gloss on. So there's them like a little compact purse, okay? Now let's get to this part. This is the bag that I have this in, in the middle of their seats. And I put one of them stuff on this side, one of them stuff on this side to their car seats, and they know where all their stuff is. I have Kleenexes over here if they have snotty noses. This is where their sunshades and their little cosmetic purses go, right back in there. Okay. Uh, these, I'll show you what these are for, and I keep these in the truck at all times. So let's get to that now. Sorry, I'll find where I'm supposed to be in a minute. Okay. I actually have something else in my truck. I don't have it in here at the moment. But if I can find it on Amazon, I will link it in the description box below because I'm going to turn you back to me just for a second. I have something else in my truck besides this one, but this is an idea. I have an inflatable porta potty that I can keep in my truck at all times, or I think right now it's actually in a diaper bag because we went somewhere back in october a pumpkin patch we went to a pumpkin patch and i put because the youngest one is still yeah she she's there now but at the time i was like i might need to take this because we might be on the other side of the pumpkin patch and she may not can make it all the way back to this side to the bathroom so it's an inflatable porta potty and i put it in the backpack 
and I put it in the bottom of the stroller, or the wagon. We took a wagon this time. Now, I have a Gmall stroller now. Let me tell you, that's my queen of strollers, okay? Um, I might do a stroller diaper bag hat one day. You never know about me what I'm liable to do. If it concerns kids, I got all kinds of tips and tricks, okay? All you got to do is ask me, all right? So it's an inflatable porta potty and you can take it anywhere you need to go. Y'all, this thing has come in handy for emergencies. Let me tell you, it's been a lifesaver. Even for ones that are that are well potty trained, our oldest granddaughter, and you're going down a two-lane road, and there's no places to pull over, and she's got a potty. It's not like little boys. You can't just pull over on the side of the road. Of course, you can, but you don't really want to because it's girls. So, I put you a porta potty in your truck, okay? Now, I don't know if, how you can carry one of these on a plane. Plane, you're going to be close enough to a bathroom. You can get her there, okay? I've been in places where there's been no diaper changing table, y'all. And I've had to absolutely put something in the floor change, and a diaper changing pad, a blanket, diaper changing pad, change that baby's diaper, and then get up. And if you don't think I wasn't one uh, hot g -mon, because they didn't have a diaper changing table in there, I let them know before I left, okay? You need a diaper changing table in here, okay? Um, this one may not work if you need to put it in a diaper bag or you need to travel with it, but this one is good to put in a vehicle, okay? I've actually had to use it in the back of my truck. Like I said, a long commute somewhere, you're on a two-lane road, there's no houses, no place, okay? So, in emergency situation, you can pull over on the side of the road, blow that thing up real quick, let them get in there and potty in the back of the vehicle, let them get in the floorboard. If they're small enough, give them some privacy in the floorboard, okay? And then dump it out. I keep water in my truck. I explained this in my car hack video, car organization hack video. I keep water in there. I wash it out, sanitize it, Lysol it, wipe it out, clean it, deflate it, put it back up, okay? This one, and now another thing you can also do, you can do that, or you can put a Walmart sack down in it, and then just wait till you get to your next maybe gas station or something, and tie that baby up, throw it in that trash out there, okay? Or take it in the bathroom, throw it in the trash in the bathroom. There's ways to empty it out, y'all, okay? Um, another thing I do, let me turn you around. Another thing I do, what these are puppy pee pee pads. When the youngest one or any of them was potty training, y'all, I would undo these and I would put them in the bottom of the car seat in case they had an accident. It absorbed everything and I wouldn't have to strip the car seat down and it or let them sit in it soaking wet. You know, you change their clothes, you clean them up, you grab this, you just chunk it in the trash, okay? Now, another thing you can do, even in my inflatable porta potty or this one, you can actually cut this puppy pee pee pad in half to where you're not wasting a whole puppy pee pee pad, okay? I got a pack of these, y'all, at Dollar Tree for a dollar. Put this down in there. There you go. Pee pee in that, poop in that, you wad it up, you throw it in that trash at the gas station. There you go. Clean it out. You've got a clean porta potty. You can either take, I saved a lot of old diapers. You can put a diaper in there, y'all, and let it absorb the pee, the poop, whatever. Do it up like a diaper, throw it in the trash, okay? You can keep one of these in your vehicle, okay? And the other one, if you need to travel with it and take it with you, get the inflatable, stuff it in your diaper bag. Yes, it's come in handy at, oh, we were at somewhere one time where they were having a um, rodeo. We couldn't get to the bathroom. When we did finally get to the door, there was every stall was full the grandchild had done held it as long as she could she done got little tears in her eyes i'm like i just need in that little corner right over there okay and they were like you'll see trust me okay 
we made a little bathroom in that little corner, okay? I blowed up that little porta potty. We co we surrounded her. We held up blankets. We gave her some privacy where nobody could see. She used that little potty. We still had her covered. Nobody could see her. And then I took it over to the sink. Yes, I washed it out, sanitized it, cleaned it, wiped it out, deflated it, put it right back in my diaper bag. She got to potty. Although I still had to get in the back of the line and wait, but at least she got to potty. She didn't wet her pants. There you go. Win-win situation. I like the inflatable one for traveling around with. I can stick, stick in the diaper bag, stroller, wagon, you name it, okay? I have it in my truck now, okay? My husband actually needed to use it the other day, but he could not find it. And my granddaughter's like, uh, she keeps it back there in the truck, Poppy. She knew, okay? Because she's used it before. So is the little one. He's like, I can't find it. And he was panicking, okay? She's a girl. He was panicking. He didn't know what, you know. And he's like, can you just hold it five more minutes? I will take you up here and we'll go in this gas station, okay? So that's what they did. Or, or a little store that was right up the road. She's like, okay, Poppy. But uh, yeah, he, just, he couldn't find it. So I need to get back out there, get my stuff organized again. I have snacks out there that I need to cha I change out periodically. Um, catch that video. I just gave you a whole bunch of ideas in here. Um, yeah. Oh, the little snack cups. Let me go find those right quick. Okay, I'm just to show you the little snack cups I got. These are the little snack cups I'm talking about. They don't spill. They can stick their hand in there, get stuff out. Yeah. And I have, you don't know how many times I've refilled this thing going down the road. I pop corn or something like that. I'll dip it down in there and I'll put the lid back on it and pass it back to them. This one is a cup and it's this one, this right here screws off and you put snacks in here. Okay. And then you've seen these. You've got the drink and then you've got the snack thing on top. Well, if I can get it open, you got the little snack thing on top. There you go easy they won't spill i even use um I, I even use the little um snack little ziploc bags the little half bags the um rectangular ones and then the uh, the um other ones i use those for uh put little snacks in in the diaper bag like at church they can see it i'll take them a little small sippy cup small little cup that doesn't spill. I don't want milk or juice on the church pew, okay? And then little snacks like in a little bag and they can sit quietly during church. If we don't have children's church, they can sit quietly, eat their little snacks, except when you can hear them. <laughs> okay? That's happened during church. But then, you know, nobody says anything. They're just children, okay? So there is a lot of traveling hacks for children. Um... A lot of my stroller stuff is out in the building. If I get around to it, I will try to get some of my stroller stuff out and show you some things that you can do on your stroller. I have, I can tell you some right now. On my stroller, I've got I some of the big carabiner hooks. And I will attach another bag to the stroller and put some things in it as extra organization and an extra set of hands, okay? Uh, you can take two carabiner hooks and hook your, uh, I have a backpack diaper bag, okay? And I can take two carabiner hooks and hook my diaper bag onto the handlebar. Save the bottom for something else, okay? I have little fans that I clip I showed them in my car organization hack. I have little um, fans that I clip to the stroller if it is extremely hot outside or the wagon. Uh, what else do I have? I have like a stroller organization thing that hooks on to the back of the stroller and it's got like little or pocket organizers. You can put a cup in, snack cup, 
toy, something else, your Yeti or your drink, uh, your Dr. Pepper, or your Coke, your bottle, water, whatever, okay? Find a way that you can add some extra things to your stroller to create more space and more organization. I know they sell them at Walmart. Y'all, I picked up a bunch of little organizer things at a thrift store. And if I ever make it out to my building one day, I'll show you some things that you can use. Um, what else? Um, yeah, oh, if you do put extra weight on the back of your stroller, I've got some weighted bands that you wear really around your ankles, <laughs> lifting weights. Um, they're weights that goes around your ankle, but I put them ar up on the front wheels of my stroller to where that way if I put my diaper bag or something on the back of the stroller on the bar and the children are not sitting in the, <laughs> in the stroller, it doesn't tip backwards, okay? So I've even got those. I've got, uh, those glow in the dark, um, you snap them. And they, they fluorescent, okay, little lights. If we're somewhere at nighttime, like at a Christmas parade or something, and people need to see us going across the highway, getting to the other side or something like that, I've got the stroller lit up. I got them some little bands on or something to where they can see the children. Because, y'all, accidents happen, okay? Crazy people driving through stuff. Accidents have happened, y'all, okay? I just try to take precautions, okay? So, stroller hacks, diaper bag hacks, okay? Um, I might do a stroller one one day. That that may be coming. Because um, I've got so many other things I've got to do right now. But this is the second part of the, the no-stress holiday. This is the second part of that video, traveling with kids. I hope I've gave y'all something to inspire you to help make your traveling with children just a little easier, a little less stressful, okay? Plan your times that you need to leave. Some people like to wait till it's bedtime. If you've got a long commute, a long travel, some parents will wait till bedtime, give them babies a bath, get them pajamas on, they'll fall asleep in the car, travel quietly <laughs> for sanity, and then when you get there, you just get them out quietly, lay them in the bed, maybe, unless they just perk right up, and then they're ready to go, and you're wanting to go to sleep. Plan the times that you need to leave. Plan the times that you need to travel. Maybe around their nap time or their bedtime or first thing in the morning. And then you can eat breakfast and get in the vehicle and they'll be getting tired soon enough and then they'll go to sleep. So I hope this is some ideas that I've gave y'all. I've got to wrap all this stuff back up and get it back in my thing and get it out in my vehicle to get ready for the holidays. I hope I've gave y'all some ideas that will help. None of this was expensive stuff. 99% of this stuff, except for the headphones and the tablets came from, and fidgets, came from the Dollar Tree. A dollar. And I fixed them up what they needed. I made their backpacks, I made their cases, and I made their activity binders. There you go. I hope I've gave y'all some ideas. I hope y'all make it through the holidays as less stressed as possible. I've already got a lot of my Thanksgiving baking and cooking done. Yes and amen, I start early. As soon as Thanksgiving is over, I'm going to start working on Christmas. There you go. I hope y'all have a very blessed Thanksgiving holidays. Remember what you're thankful for. Remember why you're thankful. Y'all, we are blessed every day. And we don't deserve it. We are truly blessed every day because we wake up. We have another breath, okay? Some people don't have that. Some people do not have their family here with them for the holidays, okay? Spend time with family. Love on them with all you've got. Mend relationships or carry on if that's something that you have to do. But be thankful for your blessings every day. God doesn't have to give them to us. 
We are granted his grace and his mercy every day, and we don't deserve it. That is the number one thing I'm thankful for, okay? I do not deserve anything he has given me or done for me. I am truly thankful, and I try to live my days showing that, okay? Y'all, please enjoy the holidays. Spend time with family. Love on your family. I want each and every one of you to have a blessed Thanksgiving. Count your blessings. Name them one by one. Yes, that's a song. You need to listen to it. I hope y'all have a very blessed Thanksgiving holiday. See you in the next